but not least, we have the traditional stomping of the glass to represent that we're going to break things here and hopefully not in our lives, uh, which is quite classic tradition. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, please help me welcome you to the new couple and uh, looking forward to the celebration tonight. Yeah, we did it. Well, I'm just going to say, because I don't give me a chance to say anything, but I'm going to say ditto to Bob for everything you just said. It's so true. And I don't know about you guys, but this week was very stressful in watching the Weather Channel. <laughs> I, I don't know what weather it is until I see sunny, 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 and that's Saturday. Storm. Not only storm, thunderstorm. So I'm going, can't these guys get a break somewhere along 2020? Just a little one. And then, like, it was a miracle. Clouds parted, the wind almost all the way went down. You could hear everybody, and it was a beautiful ceremony. It was really special. And I'm, I can't say I always enjoy the time of spending with you guys, and I'm looking forward to a lot more of it in the future. So, cheers. Welcome to the family. Cheers. Cheers. Lachaim. Lachaim. Hi Morgan, <laughs> it's me, Taylor, Toretto, your ex-boyfriend, current fiance and future husband. How about that ride in? When I first saw you, I needed to meet you. When I met you, I knew I needed to see you again. And when I saw you again, <laughs> I knew I was gonna marry you. So I was never someone that tried to picture what their wedding was gonna look like. If anything, this year has taught me, even if you think you have a clear picture, things could turn out so differently. I've been told people tend to only look back on and remember what went wrong. And that was before the year 2020. <laughs> They're probably thinking small things like car alarms in the background, <laughs> flowers that didn't arrive on time, awkward deacon speeches, or dad drank all the wine blessed by the rabbi with his buddies. I highly doubt they were thinking of a global pandemic, protests and curfews, inclement weather, and of course, murder hornets. Am I forgetting anything? We thought we'd be having that picture perfect St. Louis wedding. Truth is, I lack the imagination to picture a moment as perfect as this. You have taught me life won't be picture perfect because life with you is more exciting, more vibrant, and more unpredictable than picture perfect. Everything has been given new meaning since meeting you. Food tastes better as you're pulling me away from chilies. <laughs> Colors get more vivid as you've uncovered my color blindness. Vows aren't just cute anecdotes, they are a promise. I can promise small things, like I promise my best to not flick water onto the bathroom mirror when I wash my hands. I can promise big things, like I promise to have the same passion and commitment towards you that you have not only shown me, but also many others, our dog, our families, your students, your kiddos, your friends. I can't promise every day will be easy or smooth or even necessarily happy, but I can promise in those low moments, those moments of hurt or difficulty or sadness, I'll be there. I'll be there to face those challenging moments with you as a partner because together we could overcome life's toughest challenges as we have proven to each other so many times already. I can promise to support you because you are a badass and you have some incredible ambitions and it will be an honor to be by your side to help you see them through. And I promise to cheer you on if need be, because sometimes you simply may just need a reminder of how awesome and amazing and stunningly beautiful you are. I vow to always look at you with the same excitement and curiosity as I did the day I first saw you, when I knew I needed to meet you, when I knew I needed to see you again, when I knew I was gonna marry you. <laughs> We're gonna leave, Beltmeyer. I'm so excited for our life together. I barely could wait another day, much less another year. And I'm so glad we set forth on this adventure together to make it official with this perfectly New Mexican moment, even with the insert current weather here. 
loud wind. <laughs> I want to achieve great things with you, and having you by my side means I will never lose my inspiration. I cannot explain in words how lucky I truly feel to know you've chosen me. For the first time in my life, I'm giddy imagining my future moments, dancing with our children, the decisions we'll make and how we'll choose to raise them, what it will be like to grow old together, you of course slightly older, and see the world through each other's eyes. And I promise our lives will be pure, like snow, like gold. <laughs> no lies, just love. Love, Taylor Sky to Toretto, 6-6, 2020. Now Morgan's turn. Wow. How to follow that up. <laughs> Taylor, my best friend, my partner in crime. Wow, we're here. We made it to this day. We've been through plenty this year, and there were so many reasons or excuses to put this off. But just like the beginning of us, we couldn't wait to dive in. Our minds were set on getting married. And ever since I met you at McGurk's that Friday night back in 2015, I have been drawn to you. As you know, unlike most women, this is not something I have been dreaming about since I was a little girl. I honestly never thought that I would make it to this moment. It was difficult for me to believe that I would find someone who would love and accept all the pieces that make up me after left feeling damaged and unlovable. But you know me better than anyone and love all of me. You've built me up, you've helped me grow. From a 25-year-old girl who was unsure about life, love, and commitment into a 30-year-old woman who now feels so sure about life, myself, and our love. You're kind, you're generous, you're smart, and the ultimate adventure partner. You make loving you so easy. You make life goofy and fun, but it's the way that you treat people and you see the world that made me fall in love with you. You're different from anyone I've ever met. <laughs> but in the best way possible because it matches me perfectly. You really are my other half and everything instantly is better when you're around. I know I could go anywhere with you and be happy. I know that you will make a caring and forgiving husband who will also turn into the most supporting, fun and loving dad to our hopefully future, future children. I am so excited for our life together and choosing you as my husband is the easiest decision I've ever made. I also know that us becoming husband and wife will change very little in our life now and only unite us more as one. I promise to always embrace your goofiness, your handstands and your dad jokes. <laughs> I promise to continue to teach you new things like that artichokes aren't a type of fish, how to change your taillights, and that tornado warnings in Missouri don't always need to lead to panic. I promise to keep introducing you to new foods like walking tacos, pizza rolls, soup, vegetables in general. <laughs> I promise to continue screaming emo music with you in the car. I promise to always agree to disagree about Provel cheese and In-N-Out. I promise to embrace you when things get hard and to encourage you during difficult decisions. I promise to remind you of how special you are to me and to the world. I promise to keep reminding you how genius I think you are and how great of a writer and encourage all of your passions in life. And lastly, I promise to always love you fiercely. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join Taylor Sky Toretto and Morgan Lee Feltmeyer in holy matrimony. Now there's no way to, to put this lightly. This year has been pretty terrible. None of us thought we would be here today. They refuse to give up, however. They refuse to let anything stop the plans they have for their life, the plans they have to commit to each other. These two are the example that no matter what life throws at us, we keep going. From everything I can see that this is a match made in heaven.
Taylor's always felt comfortable in his own skin, being who he is. And I thought about that for a few days, and I kind of realized that Morgan's the same way. You know, no matter, no matter what anyone else thinks, she's gonna do what she wants. And that's why the two of these people are such a great fit together. Now, I love it when dates line up, okay? And this is, this is almost fate that we are here today. Their first date was on 11-11. They said, I love you on 1-1, one, one, and now they're getting married on 6-6. Six, six. Taylor, do you take Morgan to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and health, for richer, for poorer, as long as you both shall live? Absolutely, I do. Excellent. Morgan, do you take Taylor to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, as long as you both shall live? I do. Perfect. This ring on Morgan, repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Morgan, good on Taylor. Repeat me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee, thee wed. wed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, in the power vested in me by the United States of America, the states of Missouri, Texas, uh, New Mexico, and California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now, remember, you are in front of family. You can be kiss the bride. Yeah.